What's going on YouTube? How you going? Feel back here. I've um, just kind of been reflecting on a few things in, in terms of just working, putting your head down, grinding and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, like when you're reaching like a plateau and you need a breakthrough, generally it does get hard and you're kind of doubting yourself and you just kind of, you're not motivated and all that kind of stuff. But that's the fucking time that you you need to go harder. So when you're getting resistance and it's pushing at you, like say you want to reach another level where uh, you you want to lose this weight or you want to put this muscle on or uh, you want to build a YouTube or you want to you want to do something that's kind of uncomfortable and there's growth, you need to push through and you just need to steam right through it and you just need to keep going. This is when you have to dial in, uh, double time dial in and kind of back yourself and this is why your why is so important and you just need to dig deep and you need to think about it and then just push through like you just it's called a breakthrough it's not a it's not a walk through you need to just steamroll through it and you need that mindset where you will not accept anything other than uh, a breakthrough and you won't set, accept anything other than uh, epic momentum forward so Whenever I've kind of been thinking about it, it's like, why am I plateauing or whatever? It's obviously, I've picked the easier route. I haven't challenged myself as, as hard as possible. And I'm walking through it, to it, and tiptoeing to it. So when I reach something, oh, I don't like that, whatever, wrong. Need to get the right mindset and you just need to push through it. That could be anything in your life. Whatever that is to you that scares the shit out of you, just run towards it and just kind of break through it and smash it. So what we normally do is the reason why we kind of do things is that like the way, the, the way that we operate is, yeah, we're scared of failing, scared, scared of succeeding, believe it or not. So obviously there's a failure and like, it's not, not so much the, the failure itself, it's the, the failure in front of other people and what it could mean like, like with your bruised ego and stuff like that. Then there's the failure of success, um, that could be, you, yeah, you, you think deep down subconsciously just because of how you've spoken to yourself. You maybe, you maybe you don't look at yourself as this person. Other people might look at you and go, oh, that's this person, you know, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, he's, he's awesome like that. But your self-talk, the way that you talk to yourself might not match up to that. So you're probably scared to succeed because you don't think yourself, think highly of yourself. So we need to get that up. How do we do that? Well, these are, this is, pretty much what my channel is about, like being consistent, being daily habits, doing things, things that's uncomfortable and showing up every single day. That's pretty much it. And then you win confidence with yourself. Um, and then picking the easier route, like I know whoever's watching this right now, or we've all done it, I'm, you know, like I've been kind of guilty of it, is that you're in a comfortable situation just because your brain doesn't want to get uncomfortable. Take example for your job or what are you doing for money right now? You're just going in there for money, for income, for a little bit of chump change, just because you don't want to pick what's right for you, what, what you're actually interested in. Maybe it doesn't pay enough. So you're in a job or you're in a vehicle where you know, you're just staying in there because you're staying in there for the money. Well, what about if you actually like the job that you're in? What if, don't you think that you find a way to make more money? Like, don't you think that if you actually put more effort into it, like into whatever you're doing, like it would shine through, through your energy and, you know, through your results, you actually get results, you get driven by the results, you actually work harder when you push through these resistance and you break through. Uh, it's just something to think about. So you're consciously picking the easier route because your brain, it doesn't, you like, your brain just knows that pain or pleasure and it's just in survival mode. So like when something's uncomfortable, it'll just result to that and go, no, no, we need to survive here. No, this is what we need to do. So this is where you actually need to take your mind by the horns and you need to talk to it in a certain way. You're gonna to need to be very intentional uh, how you talk to it. So yeah, like if you're doing things that are easy, life's hard. But then if you do things that are hard, life's easy. So like, just have a think about it like that. To always just reframe it like that. Am I, am I comfortable? Okay, well that's maybe going for, uh, backwards. Am I uncomfortable? 
forward. Anytime you've done anything uncomfortable or hard, you've always walked away from it and you've gone, yeah, shit, that was, that was the right thing to do. That was, that was awesome. So it's, it's definitely something to think about. So next time you read, you go and you get to that plateau, to that wall, I challenge you to just steam right through it. Just, just go through it. Don't, no fear, no fear of judgment on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't be scared of it. Take, take it, accept it, go for it. Like, yeah, I definitely think that we're meant for something more. This year, on a personal note, I'm I'm so excited. Like I'm I'm super I'm super pumped for a lot of things. Uh, like all this momentum. See, this is the thing. I started doing work on myself uh, last year, and this is a, it. It takes a while for it to show up, and you might not see it yourself because you're implementing these little changes. But some people will pull you up and pull side pull you aside, like trusted loved ones. Uh, maybe they might like oh, this has personally happened to me, and they. Just telling you, look, we've noticed this, 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 and this change in you. And you're just like, sometimes you're taken back. You're like, oh, yeah, shit. I actually achieved this, this, and that. I said what I do. Um, I've, I've, I've done this. Uh, I'm actually a different person than I was uh, a year ago. So, like, you might not be evident to it, but I'm telling you, if you take these daily steps and you just be consistent, no one's telling you to do anything kind of crazy. Like, the people that are e- extraordinary have just done boring not boring things, but they've done, but they've been consistent, consistent in their formula for long periods of time. And they just haven't quit. That's all anyone that you look up to has not quit and they have taken that harder route and you've admired them for it. So why don't you do that? I challenge you to do that. Whoever's watching this, just do that. Uh, Be consistent and don't quit. Like, and that, and that, and that's it. So, yeah, try and take the harder path. The harder path always is the better path. Talk to yourself better, be kind to yourself because when times get tough, you'll either be a snowflake or a cupcake and bitch out of whatever the work needs to be done uh, or you'll have savage self-talk and you'll push right through. It's called a breakthrough for a reason. So break through whatever you need to break through. Don't coast through have that have that mindset and just go after what you want like i back you so whoever's watching this if anyone ever watches this i back you you do it like why not what kind of be you if you're watching someone else do it it can be you so guys i appreciate you and um yeah i'll see you in the next one so be good kind to friends and family and uh, yeah, if you got any value from this, just give us a like and a subscribe and uh, just go, I'll see you here in the next one.